What is up, y'all? We are in freaking Oregon right now. It's our first time ever being in Oregon. It's gonna be my first time ever fishing in Oregon. And we actually found a really cool spot here that I've been to one time on this road trip. We found it in Texas. And uh, we're over here at a field and stream, which is, I think they're owned by Dick Sporting Goods. It's like a Cabela's slash Bass Pro Shop slash like Dick Sporting Goods. It's really, honestly, one of my favorite tackle shops of all time. But I just gotta say, man, it's so weird to be here. We're surrounded by mountains. Uh, we went through these big forests and stuff. And we're from Delaware, so like this is the complete other side almost of the entire country. We're gonna be doing hopefully a lot of saltwater stuff over here. And it's just crazy, it's a different ocean. Like we are gonna be looking the opposite way than we were when we were fishing the Delaware ocean. It, it's so weird, man. We've been driving a lot though recently. As you guys saw, we were in Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. Now we're over here in Oregon and uh, yeah, we're planning on doing this RV stuff next year. So right now, I just kind of want to get over to this Pacific Northwest area. It's so freaking beautiful. And I just, I have a lot of plans over here. But today, as I say, we're going to be going over here into good old field and stream. In Texas, this was without a doubt the most loaded tackle shop I've ever been to ever. So we're going to see if this is a similar thing. You know, if this is another fishing paradise. We have like, we'll show you what we're going to be doing here today. But finally, man, we are out of like all the trout only areas if that makes any sense i freaking love trout fishing but in some of the parts of the country i feel like that's like a lot of what it is only is trout stuff so to get away from that is going to be kind of nice but i i do love myself some trout fishing but i'm sure you guys will appreciate this today we're actually going to be throwing it back some og fishing you, you'll see it here in a little bit we'll go over there and try some new spots out found a lot of spots on google maps and uh yeah man i'm gonna stop talking let's get over here the field and stream there's a lot of food options around here too man we got chipotle chick-fil-a which when you're rving like we've been kind of in the middle of nowhere so now we're near food which is cool but yeah let me stop talking man let's get over here i'm excited dude let's get into field and stream hopefully we don't spend too much freaking money dude. one thing i just gotta point out real quick is this weather is beautiful like unlike in uh, colorado where we were so high in elevation and the sun was just blasting on you here i think we're like seven thousand less feet i think we're only at like four thousand feet or something here but this freaking oh my gosh feels like fall back in delaware like it's like 70 ish degrees nice warm sunny skies so nice man i, I i'm digging this Man, holy crap, this place is freaking giant, dude. Look at all these kayaks. Jeez, they even got long, pointy kayaks. Dude, how freaking, oh my God, how tall, 16 foot. How do you even load that up on something? Look how like skinny that, it probably rockets, dude. They even got inflatable, the access stuff over here. It's just crazy, because if you guys remember back in like the midst of all the craziness, like, look, look, look at this real quick. They even play Lincoln Logs with the freaking kayaks. Like back when everything last summer was just, just, you know, there was no kayaks anywhere. And you know, no fishing stuff too. So to see all this, man, it's just, it's just awesome. Oh, it goes back too. I mean, already this kind of reminds me of the one in Texas, dude. We, we might be in for something. Rip my bank account. Oh, kind of random, but this is actually pretty cool. I've always seen like split shot holders that are like that or just like that, or if you get this, this is gonna fall everywhere. Um, but this, Blackbird shot, this is pretty cool looking like, like a little pill case type thing. $8.29, that's, that's a little pricey, but look at all these like bobbers and stuff they have here too. It's just one aisle. This kind of looks like trout aisle for the most part. We got all these uh, egg clusters. Never tried that before. We have tried the eggs, like this little salmon eggs and stuff. But look at all this. I mean, even all the way down here, we got maxi jigs, which I've never used that either, but that looked fire when I first saw it. We got aglias, spinners, spoons. Look at this big old pro steel spoon right there. The heck are all these things too? Little corkies? Look at that. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. So you guys know, as I said, we've been doing a lot of trout fishing recently. This is the trout trout aisle. We got all these trout magnets, trout freaking slayers. We got dough baits, we got balls. We have shrimp. Oh, I thought they were shrimp eggs. Shrimp salmon eggs, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, look at spinner, 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 spinners. I actually need to pick up some new spinners too. Do they have, you guys know I've been liking, oh, here we go. The blue fox. 
three sixteenth ass, one eighth. Dude, look at the size of this freaking buzz bait. What the heck? That thing is freaking massive. It was $16 for a single buzz bait. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these things too. Arashi glide baits. I actually want to start getting into the glide bait game a little bit more. $34.99. Ooh, look at this one too. Comes with a spare tail <laughs> for $34.99. It probably should. Oh, I've heard a lot of good things about these too. Yo, honestly, we might get some glide baits today. Maybe for a future video. I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? Let me know down in the comments below. We're finally, oh dude, they got the dark sleepers here too. And a lot of them. But we're finally getting back into more bass territory. As I said, we were kind of in that whole, you know, freaking trout, 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 which I love. Oh my gosh. Dude, look how tiny these little whopper ploppers are. We got a ton of those freaking, dude, this is what I'm saying, man. Last time we were here, they have a lot of stuff and it just is all here. Like, I feel like they're not sold out of anything. It's just completely loaded. <sighs> All right, let's take a look here. Reels, uh, let's, let's look at the rods, man. Aisles of stuff, dude. Once again, I mean, it looks like they just got a freaking bunch, bunch of stuff. They got the Mach 2s, they got the Mach Crushes, the new Mach Crushes, they got the Mach 1s, dude. I might have to pick this up. I don't actually have one of these yet. It's actually pretty freaking sick. What else we got? We got the Custom Black combos dude one thing i actually noticed too they have the backpacks you guys have been seeing me use these in the videos that bag is freaking awesome dude my favorite fishing bag i ever had they also have the mark light uh ultralight spinning combo you guys have been seeing me use in a ton of videos i didn't know this but i guess that's a dick sporting goods um exclusive and i guess this is owned by dick so that makes sense but uh yeah i, I think both of those are sold out online but if they're not make sure to go down there in the description below and uh, use my code if you, you know what I'm saying? That'll give you free shipping on every order. But yeah, we're in freaking Rod rod City over here, dude. Oh, okay, dude, see, this is how you know we're getting in this Pacific Northwest. We have commercial style crab pots. For 140 each. We have some up there as well, looks like net ones, or is this a hoop net? It's just like what we use in Delaware for blue crabs, but it's giant. Comes with like a little buoy. Dungeness crab is what I really want to go for on the coast. We're gonna have to do a lot of research and stuff, but they've even got like snares. I've seen a lot of people on the internet snare them, and I guess there's a bunch of different ways to put it. All these crab things, man. See, this is more like something we'd use in Delaware down there for blue crabs, but yeah, I'm excited to get back to crab. Oh, dude, they got it. They got the freaking clam sucker. Do you guys remember, we tried that out in Delaware. I didn't have the most luck on it, but it was cool to try it. Also be interesting to see, look at this. The bait section, so we have, uh, what even are those? Tuna bellies? Um, what are these things up here? Herring? Again, I mean, out here, this is like a whole different world of fishing. Too much stuff to look at. What the heck is this? Never seen a combo coming like a, like a tube. What the heck? Fly fishing kit. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. $40. If you're just getting into fly fishing, hello? Focus. If you're just getting into this stuff and you don't know if you'd like it or whatever, I've never tried this, but $40. I mean, you get like a little kit, you get a rod, you get a reel. Let me know if you guys ever tried that before. Yo, high key for camping and stuff. Have you guys ever used these? I think they're so cool. It's like a little personal bonfire type thing. I think this would be so cool when we're at like boondocking sites or in an RV park or something. And just like cook some mallows up, do a little catch and cook on this thing. It'd be so cool, man. It's so big though. I wonder how heavy. Oh, oh that's heavy. All right, y'all. So here's what's going on. I just found what we are going to be buying and fishing with here today. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch a fish on this or not. And this might be one of the most challenging challenges I've ever done on this freaking channel. All right, so let's take a look here. First, we have giant Rapala original lore. We're not going to be buying that. Then we have a bunch of, you know, Lunker Hunt top water stuff. Coming down here, we've got a Lunker Hunt bento combo, Lunker Hunt top water combo. And then next to that, <laughs> oh my gosh, we have the Lunker Hunt bug combo. <sighs> this thing, all I can say, man, this is not going to be easy at all. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, I've actually, like years ago, tried the dragonfly and i think last year we attempted the spider topwater fishing challenge 
So it's literally, this is a, what the heck is that? I, I've used this before too, a long time. Actually, no, that is a popper. The one we had had a, like a lip on it. It kind of made it do one of those things. That's new, that's like a cicada type popper thing. I've never used either of these colors. Dragonfly, I, I don't even know, remember the dragonfly really that much. And then the freaking spider, dude. I am not exaggerating when I say this might honestly be one of the hardest challenges on my freaking channel. The ponds that I'm going to too, I don't even know if they're like top water places. Like, or if there's even really bass in it or how much they get fished. I don't freaking know, dude. We're in the middle of Oregon. Let me know if you guys think we're gonna be able to catch something with this. But along with this, while we're here with all this like cool stuff, I mean, they even have, I've heard of these before too, mag drafts, bull shads. I'm not like a big uh, bass guy, as you guys know. Like I've never really used all these big old baits like this. I mean, we got the Ganterell Juniors, bull shads, Arashi. I was looking at this dude right here, it's $15. Which again, I mean, for a lure, which hopefully we don't snap off. That thing looks sick, dude. Looks like a legit bluegill. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I've freaking looked around a lot. There's so much. Oh, we gotta get spinners too. But that's not gonna be for this video. But uh, yeah, man. Oh, look at this, dude. There's so much stuff. Hold on. Look how cool this looks. This is a bumblebee color of uh, some power bait. All right, man, before we spend too much money, let's get out of here. I'm gonna show you guys where we're gonna be fishing today, man. I'm super excited. I don't even know if it's really gonna be good fishing or not, but just like the type of fishing we haven't done in so freaking long. So I'm excited. What's up, dude? Uh, okay. So, I got no clue what the heck is freaking going on. We are on like planet Mars right now. So this is like, I guess, a uh, dirt bike slash ATV kind of area. This, I think, was supposed to be one of the ponds. There's, there's not a pond. I don't know, we drove. Dude, that was like the most off-roading, off-roading we've ever done in this truck so far. And we were going over some bumpy stuff, but I guess we'll check down that way. We'll check over that way. I th there's gotta be a pond somewhere. There's supposed to be a pond loaded with fish. Or a bunch of ponds, but there's a muddy puddle. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Whoa. We have a fellow Oregonian in the freaking pond, dude. He's got his truck in there. What is going on? Yeah, that looks fun. All right, y'all. So I found this little body of water over this hill right here. Didn't do too much exploring yet. But look at this right here. It looks weedy and shallow. Kind of might be good for topwater fishing. I don't know. By the way, I don't know if you guys can see that all the way out there in the distance. I believe that is a volcano. We passed it the other day. It looks so freaking cool. Yeah, I think we're going to try to get over here. See? I mean... I don't know, this could be actually pretty good if there are, you know, bass in here. There's a bunch of ponds, as I said, or there were a bunch of ponds, but if there's fish in here, maybe they're hungry. It's been the case before, you know, we fished these ponds that are almost like dry out like this. Super weird, man. I don't know if there's a drought here too. We've been going through some drought territory and yeah, we passed this lake the other day. I swear, oh dude, there's a little family of that car, those things like freaking loons or something. But yeah, we passed this giant lake that was completely empty. Was so weird looking. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll give this a shot. I'm sure people drive through here with their vehicles too. I'm just wondering how deep this is. Huh. As you guys can see, this is kind of like what we're looking like. Dude, there's gotta be something in here. Oh, dude, that, that bird is like yellow. All right. So as I said, there's a bunch of these like areas around here. I think maybe over that way more might be the actual fishing places if this isn't one i don't really freaking know dude we're in some new territory as always but here you go man premium fishing products now i don't know if i just got like ones that didn't work or if i'm just the best fisherman ever but uh the dragonfly and the spider i just i, I don't know I, last time it was just not the best i think we're going to go with go with the popping bug oh here we go i actually said it too dragonfly finesse topwater phantom spider realistic crawling legs <laughs> And popping bug, ultra durable, pause, pop, repeat. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever had any luck using any of these. Oh, this doesn't actually come with a hook in it. Wait, what? All right, so already, um, this is interesting. So this and the uh, dragonfly don't come with hooks already in them. You kind of have to rig them up. I guess like, huh, let me look at the freaking thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I have it probably rigged up backwards, right? All right, that popper was too confusing. 
we're gonna try the dragonfly. I think this I, I have this set up right. It's been a while since we've thrown a freaking baycaster too. I see a dragonfly right there. I just don't understand these lures, dude. I didn't the first time I used them. I just I, don't know, I thought it'd be different. Can y'all hear that? So there's frogs here. There's definitely dragonflies that are flying around. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was for sure the spider, but now I don't know which freaking lore is gonna be the toughest. Ooh, ah. See, this is like the ultimate struggle on this whole RV, like road trip thingy that we're on. It's, it's, I, I don't know where to go, you know? All right, so, as always, you never know what is gonna happen in the first day fishing video. So, we are over here in a new pond. Looks interesting. Oh, dude, it's so clear. What the heck, it looks shallow though. I really don't wanna bring out the kayak today. Like I wasn't planning on it, but if we have to, we will. Wow, it is like super shallow over here. <laughs> oh, this is, this could be interesting. So we're gonna cast her out here a little bit. A little bit. I think that this is a very, very pressured body of water. So we're just going with this little dude right here to start. We have to ease into it, man. We came out guns blazing at the last area. I just want to catch my first ever Oregon fish, and I want to catch a bass. Like I haven't. Like when's the last time we caught a freaking bass? All right, so in this dookie water, this is what we're gonna be throwing here first. It's clear, but it's weird. It's got all this stuff on it. All right, first cast. It's probably, oh gosh. Don't wanna get wrapped in that. It's probably definitely a bunch of snags out here. Excuse me. All right, so this is the third place we're gonna be attempting to fish today. I don't know how to get over here, but that second spot was pretty cool. It had like disabled accessibility for fishing and stuff. This place is actually in an RV park. Not the RV park we're staying at. This is just a random thing I found on Google Maps. It looks like, oh, that water is clear. Yeah, that's easier. Ah. Caution, sudden drop off, no swimming. All right. found on Google Maps. One of those interesting sends before we actually get everything out, we're gonna go check it out. This isn't one of those places that I like have seen other people fish, but on Google Maps, it's just a pond over here in like the middle of nowhere. And it looks like there could be fish. So we're gonna walk over here real quick. Looks like there's like a pathway kind of thing. Got some nice Oregon grass. You see a pond down that way. I don't know, I, I we're gonna put some pants on, I think. We're gonna check it out. I hope you guys appreciate the freaking effort putting into these videos. We're just trying to catch a fish, man. It's tough because, I mean, just, when, you know, when you're on the road, especially new spots, it's hard to find spots that are good, spots that a bunch of people aren't at. Oh my gosh, I'm literally walking, I think, in what used to be like the swimming area of this lake. Holy crap, that's crazy. It's just crazy how like low everything is here. That's a fish. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is, okay, chill, 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 chill. It's been a long time in the making. We're not losing this guy. Come here, boy. Oh, that's good, dude. Oh my gosh. It's a largey too. Oh my gosh, ow. Get it rinsed off right here. Oh my gosh, biting my thumb. Let's freaking go, dude. I knew, 
I, I, I didn't know, but I had a feeling, man, that rock. There's not much structure, visible structure I can see, super shallow. We had to get super finessey. Oh man, that's a cool sight, dude. I know this video was literally all over the place. We went from freaking challenge, which I honestly don't think, unless we found a fire freaking pond, I don't think we would have caught anything on that. So yeah, title of thumbnail. But you know, this is what happens in a first day fishing video, man. We try and you know, we do a bunch of stuff. And if something happens like this, man, just gotta take a second, appreciate it. This kid, I don't know which one it is. I think it's that one right there. He has been literally doing donuts around where I was trying to fish, making waves and stuff. Let's see if he does it again. Here, I, I, I literally haven't caught a freaking largie in so long. All right, I don't want to stand out here too long with it. Oh, that was a good fight too. Oh. Professional fisherman. <laughs> I mean, that's a good fish, dude. Like, it's not like we came out here and caught some little banker. I'll take it, man. Out here in Oregon. I mean, dude, that was a good fight too. So what I switched up to, kind of messed it up a little bit. This is a uh, little Ned rig. Ha, ah, I just, uh, I don't even have any words though, man. Drove literally across the country, RV fishing road trip, and that is our first largemouth bass in the state of Oregon. What a vibe, what a day. Similar to the other one, this one's a little bit longer, not as fat. Oh my gosh, see around the structure. I think especially as it starts getting darker out, these fish might start pushing up a little bit more to feed, especially around these rocks, looking for crawfish, bayfish, whatever. Beautiful freaking fish, man, thank you so much. Second one in Oregon. All right, let's keep casting around this, dude. Oh man, they're putting up good fight too. All right, this is what we're throwing. This is a Ned Rig uh, I've used a lot in these videos. Basically, it's just a tiny little bed head jig. This one's all torn up. But on this, we just have a tiny little, this is actually floating. And this is just a turd is what they call it, a TRD. I really like using it because there's a lot of, you know, different species you can catch with it. I'm actually surprised that if there's smallmouth in here, we're catching all these largies. It's the sun starting to go down. Look at this. Look at that. Sun setting over the hill. You wanna know just where? Well.